Hi there and welcome to today's class. For today we'll be looking at the Organic Chemistry Practical Experiment 2.1 solution. Now Experiment 2.1 is simply the reactions of alkanols with sodium metal. Right? So in this experiment we'll be reacting a primary, secondary and tertiary alkanols or alcohols with sodium metals. Alright, so we have the procedure here, but we'll jump straight to the questions. Now, for the question, question one says, what was the order of what was the order of reactivity of the samples? Alright. Now, for this one here, you'll be given samples A, B, C, right? And the ingredients. So you'll be given sample A, B, C, where one is a primary alcohol. One is a secondary alcohol and the other is a tertiary alcohol. All right. So the order of reactivity of the samples could differ depending on the year. All right. So uh, what was the order of the reactivity of the samples? This one will always differ depending on the year. All right. So when you carry out this experiment in the laboratory, check out for the order of reactivity. The one that occurs faster should come first. So let's say I'm giving the sample P. Q and R, for instance. Let's say sample P occurred like the fastest. So I would say in order of reactivity, P is greater than, then let's say this one here occurred fast. Let's say Q, sample Q occurred faster than sample R. I would say P is greater than Q is greater than R. All right. So this is how you arrange this when it comes to the order of reactivity. So I'm not going to use A, B, C because they would always change it. They could change it depending on the year, right? So when you do the experiment, you check how fast they occur and then put it in this format, all right? Where P happens to be the one that occurred fastest and R would be the one that occurred the slowest, all right? So having said this, having said this, let's look at the next question. All right, let's look at the next question. The next question here, question 2 says, write equations for the reactions of sodium with ethanol, 2-propanol, and 2-methyl-2-propanol, and predict their order of reactivity, given reasons for your order. Alright, All right. so let's start with the first one. The first one is sodium with ethanol. Alright, so number 2, let's number 2. Let's say 2i, reaction of sodium and ethanol let's see sodium and ethanol so let's react this to what do you have um for, for sodium i have na plus or i just have na plus ethanol is ch so ethanol is ch3 CH2 OH. So I have this. All right, so this is the condensed formula. So if I react sodium and ethanol, the product would be this. So for my product, I would have this um, CH3, CH2 O, uh, ONA actually all right where well, this one is positively charged this is negatively charged then plus you have plus half of h2 so if you check this this will give you a balanced equation so this is what i'll have if i react sodium and ethanol so let's go ahead to name um each of the reactants and products what i have here is sodium so sodium is this what I have here is ethanol. So I have ethanol. Proceeding, what I have here is sodium ethoxide. So if I react sodium and ethanol, I'll have sodium, uh, I'll write it here, sodium ethoxide. All right, so I'll have sodium ethoxide. What I have here will now be hydrogen. Hydrogen gas. All right, so I have this one here. So this now becomes the reaction of sodium and ethanol. 
if I look at the next one there, the next one here says sodium with 2 propanol. All right. So let's take II I there. 2 II. I. Sodium. And. 2. Propanol. All right. So first things first, let's get the sodium. Sodium is Na plus 2 propanol. For 2 propanol, the condensed formula is CH3, CH, OH, CH3. All right, so I have 2 propanol. If they combine, right, if this to combine, what I have here would be my product becomes CH3. C H O N A uh, plus and then C H three plus half H two. All right. So we combine. So I'll have this one here as the answer. All right. So my next task here will now be to name the reactants and products. Now, on naming the reactants and products, what I have here, of course, what I have here is sodium. This is sodium. What I have here is 2 propanol. Okay. So, if they combine, what I have here first, the first um, product would be 2 sodium propanoxide. So, this would be. 2 sodium propanoxide. Um, okay, let me write that propanoxide. Then finally, what I have here is hydrogen gas. So this is hydrogen gas. So I have hydrogen gas all right one last thing there the third one here which i'm asked here the third one here is sodium with two methyl two propanol all right so let's do sodium with two methyl two propanol let's call this i i i sodium and two Methyl two propanol. All right. So first things first. For sodium, I have Na sodium plus two methyl two propanol. I have the CH three, the condensed formula. C bracket CH3 okay OH into CH3 so what I have here is 2 methyl 2 propanol if these two combine if these two combine what do we get um, from what I get I'll have this CH3 C CH3 then this O N A then CH3 so this is my first product plus my second product is half hydrogen so you can feel free to count the number of atoms for each of them you can see that this would be a balanced equation right so let's name each of this for my reactants i have sodium as the first reactant sodium will now combine with this was two prop two methyl two propanol two methyl two propanol okay if they combine what do i have here this gives the result is two methyl two sodium 
propanoxide so 2 methyl 2 sodium um sodium then propanoxide All right if possible they should be in a straight line All right so it should be in the same line for if, if possible two methyl two sodium propanoxide what i have here is hydrogen gas so high hydrogen gas so i have this all right so with this we've seen what we have when we combine sodium with ethanol all right so sodium and ethanol combines you have sodium combines with ethanol to give you sodium ethan ethoxide and hydrogen gas so you can see this also when sodium and two propanol combines what you have here first one is sodium and ethanol for here when you have sodium and prop two propanol combined you have sodium plus two propanol as you can see here it gives you two sodium propanoxide and hydrogen gas then finally when you react then finally when you react sodium and two methyl two propanol you get sodium combining with two methyl two propanol what you have as your products would be two methyl two sodium propanoxide combining with hydrogen gas as your product all right so this is um the combination for all three of them there's something again in that question let's see go back going back to the question the question says and predict their order of re reactivity all right of course ethanol is a primary alcohol two propanol is a secondary alcohol and 2-methyl-2-propanol is a tertiary alcohol. You're asked to predict the order of reactivity, giving reasons for your order. Now, for this, the order is this. The order is that we have that primary alcohol, right? The order is this. Primary alcohol is greater than secondary alcohol also greater than tertiary alcohol all right so this is the order of reactivity you also ask to give reasons so let's look at the reasons why this is so now the reason is this since primary alcohols are most acidic and tertiary being the least at acidic because of the effect of the alkyl group therefore primary alcohols react fastest with sodium and tertiary alcohols will react slow compared to primary and secondary alcohols hence the order of reactivity is this now this is how you write primary alcohol greater than 2 to power 0 secondary alcohol greater than 3 to power zero so you have this so the reason why primary alcohols are the most uh, uh, reacts fastest is because they are the most acidic all right that's it all right and they're the most acidic due to the what there the effect of the alkyl group all right so this is like the reason why you have that let's look at the last question the last question here says number three says which gas was given off in the reaction you carried out all right so in this reaction which gas was given up? So if you if given off, if you look at this, if you look at this, you can see that this was hydrogen gas. Look at this. This was also hydrogen gas. Look at this. This was also hydrogen gas. So if I combine um, sodium with either ethanol or 2-propanol or 2-methyl-2-propanol, for all of these cases, hydrogen gas is given off. Right. So the answer is hydrogen gas um high hydrogen gas in bracket h2 is or was given off let's use your language was was given off all right so this is the answer to experiment 2.1 all right all right, so this is how you answer experiment 2.1, right? So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like.
this video all right leave a comment tell us other experiments you'd want us to do don't forget if it's your first time please subscribe so you can watch more of our content and don't forget to share this to your friends so that they can also learn thank you and see you in our next class